Hello there and uh, welcome back. In this video I am going to introduce you with a new feature that uh, is available from uh, Android API level uh, 33 and above, but it's also backwards compatible. Now this new feature is uh, called the per app language preferences. So uh, starting in Android 13, uh, Android includes a uh, centralized location in a uh, phone settings for uh, setting up uh, the uh, settings for uh, per app language preferences. Now, uh, you already know that if you try to change the language from the settings of your uh, smartphone device that uses uh, Android API level 12 and below, uh, then that new language will be applied to all applications on your device. So for example, here I'm using uh, an API level uh, uh, 29 at this point, right? So here we can go to the system settings, then a language and input. And here we can just uh, change the language, which will be applied to basically uh, all applications in our smartphone device, right? However, uh, what if we want to change the language from uh, our system settings, but only for a single application? Uh, well, that's possible too with uh, Android 13 and above. So let me show you. Here we're going to open up the settings. So let's go down below to a uh, system settings then a language and input, and here we can just go to this uh, app languages uh, uh, section, right? So here we can choose uh, uh, for which application we want to change the language uh, for. In this case, I'm going to select this uh, application, and here we can choose uh, the actual languages that we have defined within this um, uh, locals config, right? But don't worry, even though we can see this uh, app language option only on um, uh, Android 33 and above, that doesn't mean that we cannot uh, use this uh, API on, um, on a lower APIs as well, because we can. This feature is also uh, backwards compatible. So that basically means that uh, you will be able to use this uh, per app language feature on a devices below Android 12 as well. Now, by default, uh, Android applications will not support this uh, new feature, so there are a couple of things that we need to configure before that. The first thing, we need to create a new XML file uh, called a locals config, and we need to specify here uh, which languages uh, our application should support, right? In this case, I have specified uh, four different languages. And of course, after you define this uh, locals config uh, XML file, uh, you need to open up your Android manifest file, and you need to specify that uh, same uh, local config, right? So you just uh, add that to your application tag right here. Uh, also, of course, you need to define all your strings um, in a different um, strings uh, XML file. So in this case, I have specified only one uh, translation for the for the French language, even though I have defined here a couple of more. After you uh, define this uh, locals config and you specify that uh, locals config right here, uh, then uh, your application should definitely appear within this uh, app languages uh, section of your uh, language settings. Now, I'm going to show you how to change uh, that um, uh, language uh, programmatically from your code. So, uh, here as you can see, I have specified um, uh, just uh, one column and I have one uh, text on the center of the screen, right? So, uh, in this case, I have also called the uh, launched effect so that I can uh, trigger some code uh, once after I start the screen. So, uh, by default, as you can see here, uh, I have specified an if block to check whether we are using the latest API or not. In this case, if we are using uh, Android 33 and above, uh, then we are going to trigger this code. And this code right here will call a local manager and it will change the application local to the French language, right? So, let's run this um, on an API uh, 33 uh, device. And you will see that now we are going to see uh, Hello World written in French language, right? Uh, however, let's now try to change that, for example, to English, so EN, and immediately after that, uh, we should be able to see here um, a different message, or the same message, but on a different language. Now, uh, we don't need to call this uh, code uh, every time we launch our application, we can only call that once, and that um, decision uh, will be persisted to our application. So we can just uh, call this um, code once, and it will be saved uh, automatically. As you can see now, we don't need to change the, our uh, language to, uh, from France to uh, English anymore because we have only changed that once. And that change will be persisted by default, right? Also, what we can do, we can uh, check out and see uh, what kind of a language we are using by calling this uh, code right here. So we can just call uh, context.getSystemService and we can uh, call this application locals to get the application local of our smartphone device. As you can see here, uh, let me just uh, see, okay, so... 
we have triggered that a couple of different times because we have uh, launched our application a couple of different times as well. As you can see, at the moment we're using uh, English language. So that's how you can check um, what language uh, you are using uh, on your device when you're using, of course, uh, Android 33 and above. And uh, I have specified here also in the case when uh, you need to uh, configure uh, backwards compatibility in your application. So when you want to support uh, Android devices that are below uh, 33 API, uh, then in that case, you need to call this uh, app compat delegate and get application locals to actually get um, the locals of your application. And also, if you want to set the language, programmatically then you need to call this uh, app compat delegate and uh, its function set application locals to persist that uh, same change as we did with this first block right but uh, there is uh, one more thing that you also need to uh, consider here so to use this uh, app compat delegate you need to have uh, one dependency which is uh, app compat uh, that i have just defined right here and also to support uh, older APIs, you need to define here uh, one more uh, block within your Android manifest file, and that is this uh, service. So you need to configure this um, app locals uh, metadata holder service in order to support uh, older devices. So basically, uh, this code right here uh, will allow you to uh, support uh, older devices and actually persist that uh, language uh, change automatically. So for example, if we are using an API level of 29, uh, and we try to call this uh, function uh, app compat delegate uh, set application locals, uh, then that uh, change or this uh, language that we have defined here uh, will be automatically persisted. So whenever our uh, user opens up this application the next time, uh, then this uh, language will be saved. And that's the whole purpose of uh, adding this uh, service to your Android manifest file to support uh, older devices. Now, uh, at the moment, there is uh, one issue which is uh, related to this um, set application locals function. So as you can see here, uh, that issue is uh, uh, still active and I hope that they will actually fix that soon. Anyhow, if you want to also check the documentation for this uh, new feature, uh, then be sure to check out this uh, page for uh, per-app language preferences and there you will find uh, all the necessary information about uh, this uh, actual new API. Alright, so uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think about this uh, new feature. And of course, uh, like this video, but only if you find it helpful. And for now, that will be all.